I mean, I, I think Eve is the only one who would have had the chance to meet Anne, but I don't think did. You played her. Yeah. So what was it like for you to play someone who is easily the, one of the most recognizable fig figures of the 20th century, and you started your acting career playing this person? How did that affect you moving forward with this? I could go on for It's a long story, but, you know, I had never... Speak in the mic. I had never seen... I'd, ne I'd never acted. I'd never seen the Diary of Anne Frank on Broadway. I didn't... My father had been in, in the uh, World War II, and I knew about atrocities and things that happened in the war. I was a little teeny girl, but I didn't know anything about it. And I was modeling, and, I, and they kept asking me to test for the movie, and I kept saying, I'm not an actress, thank you, I don't want to be an actress. But I went to Paris to model for the first time, and it was wonderful, and I got there, and I was telling all my French friends, these people from Hollywood keep calling me and asking me to test for this movie, The Diary of Anne Frank. I, had, I didn't know anything about it. And the, the book, The Diary, and um, they said, oh, Millie, Millie, that's a very important book, don't you know? And I said, no. I, they said, George Stevens, the wonderful American director, is directing that. I said, George Stevens? I was not a fan of movies or movie stars. But I had a favorite book in high school called An American Tragedy by Theodore Dreiser. And he made a movie called A Place in the Sun, which for some reason was my favorite movie. And I heard, I thought, that man... I know who he is. He directed my favorite movie. Maybe I ought to meet him. <laughs> and, and they flew me to California to meet George Stevens, and he, was, he was, had a heart. I read the diary on the plane going out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say that's the first time I read it. It hit me in the heart. I thought, uh-uh, this must be right. This something's right about this for me. And I just felt I was too old in a way to play the part, but I, not too old, but I, was older, I wasn't 14, and I, 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 it just hit me in the heart, and I met George Stevens, and it was this lovely man who treated me with respect. I went, he said, we'll let you know, I went back to New York to, to my modeling career as a young girl, and he, and he said, I'll let you know, and he called me up one day, and he said, I'm going to meet you at the plaza, and I met him at the plaza, I had a corduroy jacket on, and and slacks, and no, a pleated skirt, a black pleated skirt, a green corduroy jacket, <laughs> and a white blouse. And I went to the plaza, the tea room, and he said, we'd like you to play the part, but you must not tell anybody. And I didn't tell anybody, I didn't even tell my family. <laughs> it was just, it was wonderful. It, it, did it change me? It gave me a gift that, uh, that's been with me my whole life. I'm 83 years old. I'm sorry, Marion, to tell you that. My friend never likes me to tell people my age. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, it's been a gift, that's, and that's and I and I, I I couldn't have asked for more. I've done over forty films. Nobody knows what they were, but they do know the Diary of Anne Frank. I've been I've been invited all over the world. I've been invited everywhere, every synagogue, every high school, every grammar school, every in uh, Holland and every Israel to talk about the Diary of Anne Frank. Can you imagine what's done to me? It's Maybe maybe it's right. That's I don't know. <laughs>